Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create sparkling star fill text that will make any word look like it belongs on Broadway. The size of this document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. I'm choosing a font called English which you can download for free at defont.com. Click on the color box and choose white. Click on your document and type in your word. To move it, call up your move tool or press the letter V. Click anywhere on your word and reposition it. Close the character box and press the letter T to call up your type tool. To kern your letters, place your cursor between the letters you want to bring closer or separate more and then press Alt or Option as you press on the left or right arrow keys. In this example, I want to expand the space a bit between the E and the S. Let's get closer into these letters. Call up your magnifier tool and click and drag diagonally across them. I want to connect the E and the S together, so we're going to have to create the connection. Click on the new layer icon and press P to call up your pen tool. Make a path that follows the contour of the letters and when the path is closed, right click it and choose make selection. The feather radius is zero, just press OK. We want to fill the selection with white and since white is our foreground color, press Alt or Option and delete. To see the entire document on our screen, press Control or Command Zero. Click on the Channels tab and then click on the icon in the lower left. This will make a selection of all the tonal values we see on the screen. Go back to the Layers panel and click on the New Layer icon. Open the Paths panel and click on the third icon from the right. This will make a work path from the selection. Go back to the Layers panel and drag the text and the small white connection to the trash since we won't be needing them anymore. We'll rename this layer Text. Press the letter B to call up your brush tool and then press F5 to call up your brush presets. Click on the brush tip shape and change the size to 5 or 6 and change the spacing to 80 percent. Depending on the size and resolution of your text, different numbers may work better for you. Click on Shape Dynamics. I'm using 100 percent for the size jitter, the minimum diameter is 0, angle jitter is 0, and the roundness jitter is 100 percent. The minimum roundness is 25 percent. Click on Scattering. Change the scatter to 200 percent the count is 1 and the count jitter is 98 percent. Close the brush window and click on the Paths tab. Right click on the Work Path and choose Stroke Path. The Stroke Path window will open, the tool is Brush and make sure Simulate Pressure is not checked. We're going to enhance this effect by adding another stroke but changing a couple of numbers. Press F5 again to open up the Brush Presets and click on Brush Tip Shape. We'll change the size this time to 4 pixels and the spacing will be 130 percent. Click on Scattering and we'll change the scatter to 600 percent. Close the Brush Window, right click Work Path and click Stroke Path. This time check Simulate Pressure. Click on an empty spot below the Work Path to make the path inactive. Click the Layers tab and double click the text layer to open up the layer style window. Click on drop shadow and change the blend mode to lighten. Click on the color box. I'm choosing a blue color scheme for this word but feel free to go with whatever color scheme you'd like for yours. Go back to the layer style window, change the opacity to 20 percent, the distance will be 0, the spread will be 40 percent, and the size is 15 pixels. Click on Outer Glow. Change the blend mode to Lighten, the opacity to 100 percent, and the color will choose Aqua. Lastly, we'll change the size to 8 pixels. We're ready to make the background. Hide the text layer, 
Click on the base to make it active and then click on the new layer icon. Click on the foreground color box to open up the color picker. I'm typing in 05313B. I'm choosing dark colors but they'll brighten up when we apply a blending mode later. Click on the double curved arrow to reverse the foreground and background colors or just press the letter X. Now click on the white foreground color to change it. For this color I'll type in 9ABED5. Call up your gradient tool and make sure the linear gradient box is highlighted. Click on the gradient box which will open up the gradient editor. Click on the left box to drag it to the middle then click on the right box to activate the color then click just below the lower left corner of the color bar to place that color there. Now click and drag a slightly diagonal line and then release. This created a linear gradient of those colors confined to the line we just drew. Click on the new layer icon. We're going to place one more gradient in this layer. This time click on the radial gradient icon Click on the gradient box and then click on the top left box which will make the gradient transition from the foreground to the background colors. Let's hide the first gradient. Hold shift and then click and drag across. Change the mode to overlay which blends this layer with the other gradient creating a beautiful effect with halos of rich color. Click the eyeball back on the text to make it visible. Let's add a lens flare. Click on the new layer icon and drag it to the top. Press the letter D to change the foreground and background colors to black and white respectively. We want to fill this layer with black so press Alt or Option and Delete. Go to Filter, Render and Lens Flare. Click on the lens flare and move it to the left area where our background is the brightest. We'll change the lens type to 105mm prime. And then reduce the brightness to approximately 90%. We'll change the blend mode to soft light. Click on the text layer to make it active and then press Ctrl or Command J to make a copy. Drag this copy above the lens flare. And lastly, we'll punch up the sparkle by duplicating this text layer one more time. So here is our finished Ice Capades text on its cool looking background. Have fun creating your own text filled with sparkling stars. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.